God bless you, my beautiful sisters in Christ. I wanted to talk today about the differences between the fear of the Lord and the fear that we receive from the world and how different they are. Because if someone reads the Bible and they go, well, in one verse it says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of wisdom. But on the other verse it says, well, God did not give you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. To someone who's just reading that, it may look like it contradicts itself. But in reality, there's so much more that we don't realize unless the Holy Spirit helps us to see. Um, so that's why we really need to be um, reading the Word of God in the Spirit and not just in our flesh. So basically, the fear of the Lord is it's reverencing God and knowing how truly powerful He is. This is the Almighty God. Um, he is the one that can destroy the body and soul in hell. Um, it literally says it is a terrible thing to fall into the hands of the living God. Um, he is a mighty, terrible one. That means that he is just a force to be reckoned with. Um, and God is just that powerful. So there is no one greater than him. He is the like highest uh, power. And, you know, just to know that just makes anybody tremble. And it also makes you respect God. Like, I don't know, a fear of the Lord is a good because it keeps you from complacency. It keeps you from backsliding, from um, getting lukewarm. And, you know, I don't know, I feel like having a fear of the Lord shows respect to God to say, you know what? I reverence you. I honor you. You know, it's saying that I know who you are and who I am in you. Like, it's a, it's a, it's a, it's a really humbling thing to know how truly powerful God is and to know his position in your life, that he is the head and you, you know, are the body of Christ. So that's one way to look at it. Okay. And then you got the other one that says, well, God did not give you the spirit of fear, which he didn't give you the spirit of fear. Okay. But he did give you his Holy Spirit, which is power, love, and a sound mind. So um, the fear that comes from the world um, is a fear that really cripples you. It's a fear that paralyzes you. It's a fear that um, keeps you from standing up against, uh, you know, opposition. It's a fear that keeps you from sharing the gospel. It's a fear that just keeps you in bondage. And that type of fear God does not give you. So that fear is of the world. It's of the, the God of this world, okay? Um, and for those that don't know who that is, Satan, okay? Just making it really transparent. Um, but that's the type of fear that is not healthy fear. Um, but the fear of the Lord is a healthy fear because it's a reverence that you have. It's a respect. It's honoring to God because you acknowledge who he is in your life. Um, and it really humbles you and keeps you in that place of humility. So I hope this makes sense. Um, and I just wanted to share that really quickly with you guys. So I hope you have a blessed day and yeah, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.